This is Mondaire Jones, uh, recently elected in New York 17. You remember Elliot Engel, uh, uh, oh no, excuse me, uh, this, that's Jamal Bowman. Uh, the, his race was, uh, I can't remember, Nita, Nita Lowry. Nita Lowry. Nita, and she, Nita Lowry, and it was like that incredibly crowded primary with that trust fund, ba fund baby but, who outspent him by many times and Mondaire Jones was victorious. Nita Lowry ended up uh, re uh, resigning or not re running for re-election. Uh, here is uh, Mondaire Jones uh, talking about allowing uh, a pathway to citizenship for, for dreamers and also um, temporary protected status, folks. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I swear, sometimes I stand in this chamber and I feel like I'm in the twilight zone listening to a number of my Republican colleagues espouse white supremacist ideology to demigrate our dreamers, our wonderful dreamers. I'm over here standing with a clear understanding that this bill does not go far enough. I want to share the story of a constituent of mine, Mr. Paul Peerless of our Spring Valley, New York community, who was deported to Haiti, a country where he had never even been in apparent defiance of the president's 100-day executive order. We need a bill that goes further. I'm going to vote for this, but we need a bill that goes further that forgives people who make mistakes. And Mr. Peerless, in his case, made a mistake in his early 20s. We need a bill that allows him to return home. And I'm going to be fighting for that moving forward. I yield the balance of my time. Thank you, madam. Good for him. Yeah, because uh, the, the House um, bill that was passed it was basically a compromise piece of legislation. I think it got a, I think it did get a few Republican votes, if I remember. It was larger than the usual threshold. But unlike the Biden bill that they're trying to, I guess, negotiate with or trying to to get through, that provides 11 million people with the pathway to citizenship. The bill that was just passed passed in the House is basically just mostly targeting dreamers and then farm workers and it's 4.5 million people on the pathway to citizenship so it's a significant downgrade and i i believe that's what he's he's uh referencing there um how that wasn't enough i feel like this this is a sign too that they're not going to tackle the issue straight on this is all going to be just chipping away and it's going to be a uh... well i mean the i i the, the prospects of the 11 million uh, person bill by Biden was were already treated with such bleakness, but that was that was before there was discussion about adjusting the filibuster and reforming it. Now, you can make an argument that people like Joe Manchin and Kristen Cinema are going to vote no on that kind of legislation anyway even if the filibuster is reformed because it's like too too progressive in terms of its immigration policy i don't really know but yeah i mean the fact that they're watering it down that significantly already in the house that's that, that doesn't bode well 